Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Conservation Diaries. This week on Conservation Diaries, we've had an action-packed week in terms of the large cats, but also we can well and truly say that autumn is on its way here to Lapalala, as the grass is starting to turn a lovely golden color, and the leaves on the trees, they're starting to change a lovely red, orange, and brown color. So autumn, well and truly on the way here to Lapalala. This is Mabula and her youngster. They're attempting to hunt this impala, half-heartedly I might add, as this impala can clearly see the two cheetah. They do rely on a bit of an ambush technique, uh, cheetah, so it will be very difficult once an animal has spotted them to actually continue with the hunt, and that's exactly what they did. This impala ran off and they continued to lie there and didn't even pursue it because they knew that wasting that energy hunting an impala that was definitely going to get away is definitely a waste of energy. We really do find it a privilege to watch these large cats in action here on La Palala. After searching for quite some time, we were very lucky enough to come across this pride of lions. They were actually on a secret little road. Uh, not many people know about this secret little road that heads to a pan just off Eastgate Junction. And a little hunch told us, well, let's go check that pan out. There's water. There's a chance that the predators might hang around water. Because like ordering uh, takeaway, the food will come to you. Uh, so they use less energy uh, by hanging around a water source. This is one of the fewer water sources in this part of the game reserve. So a lot of animals do traverse back and forth to this water hole. Uh, that set of wildebeest horns that that youngster was playing with was a kill they made about six months ago. This is aloe grooming between these two adult females. They help clean each other in this regard. That is one of the nice things about cats is they are self-cleaning. <laughs> you know, their tongue is about 10 times rougher than that of a domestic cat. And it really is like a scrubbing brush going across the skin of the lion and cleaning it, making sure it's taking off all those unwanted parasites at the same time. This gang of buffalo coming straight towards the vehicle, very curious to see what's going on, but at the same time hustled up and nestled as one unit. Not many predators can penetrate a unit of buffalo like this. This big bull elephant finishing off his breakfast. He had to work pretty hard to get it by pushing over this tree. And what he's aiming to achieve is to get to those hard to reach areas he can't reach. As well as the bark and the roots. Elephants utilizing most of the tree except for those hard woody parts of the tree. This ox picker prominently perched at the top of the giraffe's skull there with its zygodactylous foot structure, which is two toes forward and two toes back, exactly like a woodpecker. And this ensures great grip on the mammals that they pick their ticks or parasites off. So we've reached the end of our video. From all of us here at Tinswalo, where conservation never stops, We'll catch you all next time.